Hello everybody, Gareth here from What Culture Wrestling, bringing you right this second a big old update on all things Ultimate WrestleMania card for the ages. Because hopefully you remember, this time last week I did a little old video talking about how we here at What Culture wanted to create this Ultimate WrestleMania card based on all the different choices that you out there thought were the best particular matches in each particular category. We then looked at all the different choices that you guys put onto our different polls on our community channels and decided on four of the top ones that we wanted you to to then go and vote on on various polls. But now we have been able to come down to the final two for each particular category, which I'm about to reel off and tell you all about in a few seconds. But before we do that, I'm gonna explain what's gonna happen next. Because the final twos that have been decided on in each of these categories will now go in to what we like to call a podcast debate duel kind of situation between the Dadley Boys. Because Michael Hamford and Michael Sidgwick, they will sit down, they will talk about these two rival matches in each particular category and then they will vote for which one of the matches that they think is worthy of being on this ultimate wrestlemania card but what happens if they both vote for different people i hear you ask well we have a solution for that as well because what we're going to do is just simply go back to the voting system look at the percentages for which one was the most popular out of these particular categories these particular matches and whichever one was they will just get moved onto the card because then that will be your choice we will be going with what you think is the greatest match and deserves to be on the card so first off we have the opening match, the one that's going to open this ultimate card of all WrestleManias, the grandest of grandest stages. And what I can tell you is the, the, the match that got the lowest votes out of all of this was Bobby Lashley versus Drew McIntyre at WrestleMania 37. So evidently fans were happy to finally see their wrestlers in the flesh and get from behind those LED screens, but just not enough to vote them into the top three. Then we had Shane McMahon versus AJ Styles at WrestleMania 33. It was phenomenal, but just not phenomenal enough. And for our top two of the opening match of WrestleMania, you've got Brett versus is Owen at WrestleMania 10, and then Triple H versus Daniel Bryan at WrestleMania 30. Two classics, I do not envy that conversation. Moving on over to the ladder match, scaling the ladder to success and immortality at WrestleMania. What came last, I hear you ask. We had the Intercontinental 7-way at WrestleMania 32. Woo, 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 you didn't want it, did you? And then in third place, it was actually the match that I voted for because I really love it, it's got a special place in my heart, is the first ever Money in the Bank, and that was at WrestleMania 21. So again, barely anybody else agreed with me. Why am I doing this job? I clearly don't know what I'm on about. And for the final two, you have Razor Ramon versus Shawn Michaels at WrestleMania 10, and then Edge and Christian versus the Dudley Boys versus the Hardy Boys at WrestleMania 2000. And a bit of a spoiler, that may or may not be the last time you hear them in these categories coming up. And it just would not be a WrestleMania card without a simply stellar show-stealing match from the ladies. And what we've got here is in last place. Again, bit of a shock this, because I voted for this on the poll, and clearly I've no idea what I'm talking about because I put Bianca Belair versus Becky Lynch at WrestleMania 38 as my favorite match. The, 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 the win they've had here at WrestleMania, I thought it simply stole the first night at WrestleMania 38. On the same night you had Cody Rhodes and Austin's return. This match was epic, but nobody agreed with me because that came last in this particular category. Then you have Trish Stratus versus Mickie James at WrestleMania 22. It's a, it's a competitive category. There is not much in between this because we had the three-way for the ages that was Charlotte Flair versus Becky Lynch versus Sasha Banks for the, the, the brought back, the rebranded win Women's Championship at WrestleMania 32. Then you have Bianca Belair versus Sasha Banks at WrestleMania 37 for the SmackDown Women's Championship, the second time women have main evented at WrestleMania, night one at least, and what a match that was. We all remember that whip heard around the world. And again, you just can't have a WrestleMania without a grudge match, a blood feud, something that just has to culminate on the grandest stage where people have just got to get their hands on each other and beat their crap out of one another. And coming in last in this particular category, this top four, we've got The Undertaker versus Edge at WrestleMania 24, the main event for the World Championship, and that is an absolute classic in anybody's book, and the fact that that came last, it just shows you what kind of a category we're talking about here. And then after that, we had Daniel Bryan versus Kofi Kingston for the WWE Championship at WrestleMania 35. Kofi Mania was not worthy of a top two. What is going on with the world? Oh boy, but if we're talking about final twos, then my goodness, what we've got here, we've got The Undertaker versus Shawn Michaels at WrestleMania 25, a match that many class has probably the greatest match in WrestleMania history, so you got a bit of a feeling this one may wiggle its way onto the ultimate card one way or another. And then you've got Shawn Michaels versus Kurt Angle at WrestleMania 21, which is a personal favourite of my own, but I got a funny feeling that Deadman and Shawn Michaels may just pip this one. And to be honest, if you're looking at that category in general, Shawn Michaels and Undertaker are the icons of the grudge match at Mania, aren't they? And now we're into the tag team corner of the ultimate WrestleMania card, and my goodness, this one again is just about as competitive as they come. You've got in last place, Ronda Rousey and Kurt Angle versus Triple H and Stephanie McMahon at WrestleMania 34. And then with just 1% more of 
more of the votes, we've got Mr. T and Hogan versus Piper and Ondoff at WrestleMania 1. Again, it's just fine margins in this particular category. We've got the Hardy Boys return at WrestleMania 33, which was over the Raw Tag Team Championship. She'll never forget Jeff Hardy popping up on that stage, shaking his hips and Matt Hardy just deleting everybody. But another obvious choice for this kind of WrestleMania thing, TLC2 is also in the top two here. That's at WrestleMania 17, of course, and it's always going to be a popular choice, but... Just all in all, when you're looking at these two, all we can come to, the conclusion that we have to come to, is that the Hardy Boys just do not miss when it comes to ladder matches on the grandest stage. And rather appropriately, because WrestleMania is going Hollywood this year, we do have the celebrity category for this ultimate car because it's just become a staple of the event now. We need a celebrity just to get their faces knocked in, and that's what we got for you. But in last place, we've got Bam Bam versus Lawrence Taylor at WrestleMania 11. And then we've got in third place, The Big Show versus Floyd Mayweather at WrestleMania 24. Again, I really love that particular WrestleMania, so it's another favorite because who doesn't like the visual of Money Mayweather putting brass knucks on and punching a big show, eh? But our top two, and what a top two again, is The Miz and Morrison taking on Bad Bunny and Damian Priest pre-judgment day. And then you got Johnny Knoxville versus Sami Zayn in what can best be described as absolute insanity, but the best kind. And of course, WrestleMania is the place where part-timers and legends come out to play. Like, looking at this year's, you got Trish and Lita, they're going to come back and have their moment in the sun. So we've got a category specifically for that as well. And in last place, no surprises here. You've got Hulk Hogan versus Vince McMahon at WrestleMania 19, and I got 2% of the vote. And then in third, you've got Shane McMahon versus Vince McMahon. Again, no real surprises there, and I got 5% of the vote. And then our top two in the Legends part time match, whatever you want to call it, we've got Hulk Hogan versus The Rock at WrestleMania 18, and then you've got Stone Cold Steve Austin making his long awaited return after 20 years against Kevin Owens at WrestleMania 38. I do not envy these Dadleys trying to make that call because that is tough. And now for the moment you've all been waiting for, the main event and the lowest, and this just shows you what kind of a category we're talking about here, the lowest scoring match out of the top four that we had was Hogan versus Warrior at WrestleMania 6, and that got 5% of the vote. So two big meaty men bouncing off each other was now popular. Shocker. And then in third place, you've got Hulk Hogan versus Andre the Giant at WrestleMania 3. An iconic match, an iconic moment that Power Slam heard around the world, but that could only earn it 9% in this particular vote. And the top two for the main event, of WrestleMania that needs to be debated over which one's going to make it out alive. Well, you've got Brock Lesnar versus Roman Reigns versus Seth Rollins at WrestleMania 31, and then Stone Cold Steve Austin versus The Rock at WrestleMania 17. My goodness, this is going to be crazy. So now I just want to reiterate what is going to happen next. The Dudley Boys are going to sit down. They're going to have a chat about the top twos in each of these categories and decide which one is worthy of the ultimate WrestleMania card stage. And if things do come down to a tie, they both disagree. If one person likes this particular match and the other person likes the other one, we will go to your vote on our channel. So you will have the power over the Dudley Boys. What a world, eh? But for our particular ultimate WrestleMania card, it is as much ours as it is yours. Like we said, we've gone off all your votes. Now we're just going to do a bit of debating, but either way, we are going to create something special here and we cannot wait to see what happens next. I've been Gareth from What Culture Wrestling. Follow myself on Twitter at GMorgan04. Follow everyone here at What Culture at What Culture WWE. Like this video, share, subscribe to all things What Culture. Check out our community pages and the website. Loads of lovely stuff there. But we will now wait and see what will happen on the grandest of grandest stages. Bye bye.